Manner of articulation refers to the degree of constriction of airflow. 发音方式，通俗点讲，指的就是气流是以怎样的方式从口腔中出来的。我们上面有提到，英语中的辅音在发音过程中，气流会受到一定的阻碍，气流必须克服这些阻碍才能发音。语音学里，我们把辅音发音过程中发音器官对气流形成阻碍和气流克服阻碍的方式称为发音方式。英语辅音按照发音方式可以分为六大类，具体包括：爆破音、摩擦音、色擦音、鼻音、流音和滑音。Airflow is completely blocked by the articulators, then released. 发爆破音的时候，气流会因发音器官完全闭合而暂时受到阻塞，然后阻塞会突然得到解除。同时，气流在冲破阻碍时会爆发成音。There are six stops in English. In addition to the sample sound t, the other five are d. For fricatives, airflow is highly restricted, causing high-frequency white noise. 发摩擦音的时候，发音器官并没有完全闭塞，会留有狭窄的缝隙。当气流从缝隙中挤出时，会与发音器官摩擦而发出声音。We have nine fricatives in English. They are s, z, z, f, v. Affricates are a combination of a stop and fricative, meaning that when the stop is released, the airflow is still momentarily restricted enough to produce a fricative. 色擦音是爆破音和摩擦音的结合。具体发音的时候，发音器官会首先完全闭塞，堵住气流，然后会突然打开一条狭窄的缝隙，使气流从中挤出而摩擦成音。The two affricates in English are. And j. For nasals, airflow is completely blocked in the oral cavity, like with stops. But the nasal passage is open so that air can flow out of the nose. 发鼻音时，口腔通路完全闭塞，气流震动声带后会从鼻腔流出。We have three nasals in English, namely. Mm, mm, and mm. For liquids, airflow is partially blocked, but there is enough airflow around the articulators for a sonorous sound. 发流音时，舌尖需抵向上齿龈，气流会受到部分阻碍。但仍有足够的气流在震动声带后从发音器官所形成的空隙间流出。The two liquids in English are er and o. Er is a rhotic liquid, while o is a lateral liquid. While er is pronounced with the tongue just approaching the alveolar ridge, for o the tongue actually does touch the alveolar ridge. But the sides are lowered so that air can pass around the tongue, giving it a sonorous sound. For glides, airflow is barely blocked at all, to the point that the sound resembles a vowel. Some linguists even call these sounds semivowels. 跟其他的辅音不同，滑音在发音过程中气流几乎不受任何阻碍。所以，从语音学角度来讲，滑音其实具有元音的语音特征，发音相对比较响亮。这也就是为什么滑音也被称为半元音
，但因滑音仅出现在音节边界的位置，所以它们具有辅音的音系功能。We have two glides in English, namely, w and y.